um, that's what drew me. And also that the central relationship is between siblings, between two sisters. I thought it was refreshing that the motivation of the central relationship was a sibling love as opposed to a romantic love for once. So. And whereabouts did you film it? And any memories from the filming of it? We shot one week in Tokyo. I think, uh, I think you know, my, my DP, Matthias, was incredibly excited when it started raining the night we were shooting in the centre of Tokyo because the neon lights and the rain, I mean, you couldn't have planned it. And he was having, like, Blade Runner flashbacks. He was, he was very happy. And then we moved up into the hills for a couple of days. But then our real forest, we couldn't shoot in the real Okugahara forest for logistics and other administrative reasons. So we shot on the uh, Serbian-Bosnian border, uh, a Serbian national park, really very beautiful. Um, and that's where we were for, I think it was about 33 days in the end. We were rained out one day. So it's just over 30 days worth of shoot. And you've got some interesting projects coming up. Tell us a little bit about those genre pieces. So still feeling the genre vibe. Um, we have Patient Zero coming out uh, September this year. That's Matt Smith and I. And that's an interesting project because Screen Gems, who uh, are behind Patient Zero, uh, I think did something interested. I interesting. I was uh, attracted because Stefan Rutsevitsky is directing, who many of you will know won the Oscar, I think it was 2007, for The Counterfeiters. And so they've taken an art house director and given him a genre piece so I'm very in and he had his camera crew with him very interestingly he brought his um, award-winning cinematographer with him so um, that was very interesting we shot that in Shepparton I'm uh, excited about that and then later this year I'm sort of stepping away from the franchises for a little bit I'm uh, following through with the leading lady we have In Darkness which I'm starring in that I co-wrote with my other half, I nearly said better half there, uh, Anthony Byrne, who is also directing, who's lurking here somewhere. Hello, darling. Um, and <laughs> always watching me. <laughs> and then also very excited about Official Secrets, which is obviously um, the true story um, of Catherine Gunn, who um, some of you might have read the announcements been out this week because of Berlin, um, who very bravely leaked the memo that showed that. Um, uh, certain members of the American government were coercing the UN Security Council so that we went to war in Iraq. And with the Chilcot report, everything coming out next summer, this summer, it's going to be a very poignant film about... Um, I think we're all still feeling the ramifications of that with Syria and everything that's happening. So I feel very passionately about the brave thing that Catherine Gunn did there. So I'm going to stay in jeans and T-shirts for a bit longer after enjoying doing that in the forest. Sounds good. Now the movie comes out next week, next Friday from ICOM, and we really hope you enjoy the forest for special screening. Thank you to Natalie Dorma. Thank you very much for coming.